Hello friends, welcome to Hongo theme video tutorials. In this video I am going to talk about WP Bakery Page Builder, formerly known as Visual Composer, and, you might be familiar with this visual drag and drop page builder which helps to create pages very fast without coding skills. This premium plugin is bundled with theme free of cost, so you do not need to activate the license of this plugin. Hongo is compatible with this bundled plugin version only, so you can update it with the theme update only. Note when a new version of this plugin is available, you should wait for the Hongo theme update with inclusion of new version plugin. Now let's explore the features of WP Bakery Page Builder, and how to use it to get most out of the Hongo theme. When you go to create a new page, or edit any page, if you see default Gutenberg editor view then click WP Bakery Page Builder button. Now you will see these options to add the content in back-end, or front-end mode. Let me click on front-end editor. This is an empty page and start by clicking on add element button to add a short code to the page. As you can see here the list of all short codes, and those can be filtered by different categories, or can be searched here also. Hongo tab. These are all the custom short codes developed by Hongo theme. For example, let's search for text and add a text block short code. Here you can add your text content and see different settings for this short code. Now let's save the change and you can see your text inside a row. The row is acting as a parent element. Basically all elements should either be inside a row or page sections. You can add multiple columns in a row. Let me add two equal columns. One with text in left side, and let me add a single image short code in right side column. You can upload your image in this short code, and change various settings as per your requirement. Let me add full size, and apply animation. Save the changes and I can see the result immediately. Every short code have their own settings, you just need to hover over the element, and click pen icon to modify it. It is also possible to duplicate element by clicking on this clone icon. Of course you can drag an element, and drop in different columns, and rows as well. If you want to add more elements on the page then you can simply click this plus icon, and repeat the steps for adding elements. And finally you can click on publish to save all the changes. You can also go to backhand editor and access the similar settings, and behavior, the difference is you see live preview of your page while you use front end editor. So that's how the page builder works. Now if you want to create a post you may see the page builder buttons missing. But if you want to enable page builder for WP standard post and custom post types also then from WordPress dashboard, please go to WP Bakery Page Builder, Role Manager. And here in post types choose custom and check mark post types in which you want to enable page builder. So let me check mark post. Now go back to add new post and you can see page builder button options. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any other queries then please feel free to contact us via our support system. Thank you for watching.